everyone, thank you for tuning in to Embrace My Melanin. It's your girl, Rochelle, and in today's video, yes, as you saw by the title, I am going to be doing a first impressions on the Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint, okay? I have had this um, skin tint for a while now, possibly almost two months now, and I've just been lazy to try it or just, I don't know, maybe a little hesitant to try it, but I wanted to try it, and here it is. I'm trying it right now, okay? I picked mine up in the shade Hint of Espresso, which is the deepest, darkest shade of the 20 shades that are available. This particular skin tint retails for $17. I picked mine up um, at Ulta uh, one day. I didn't even know this product had even come out, and I saw it, and I was like, okay, let's. Let's try it, okay? <laughs> this year so far, I think it was started maybe the end of last year um, to this year to where I just really and truly have been enjoying the skin tints that I've been trying, okay? So I just had to try Morphe's on to see what it do, okay? Now, as I said, that it comes available in 20 shades, retails for $17. Um, there are five shade ranges that they have. Fair, light, medium, medium, tan, and then of course, deep, okay? It says some very big claims on this particular foundation, okay? It says that it is, um, lasts up to 16 hours, okay? Um, that it is water resistant, sweat resistant, and transfer resistant, Okay, all right. Hydrates the skin for up to 12 hours and seals in moisture and nourishes dry skin. And of course, also one of the good things about it is that it is vegan, okay? So here is the face right here. I just wanted to show you that, okay, before we head on into the demo. So here we go. Let's see how this foundation excuse me, how this skin tint by Morphe does. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel. What? Come on now. Go ahead and click the button down below. Go ahead and cl click that button down below, okay? And enjoy the video. <laughs> All right, of course, I have the Morphe uh, 2 uh, Hint Hint Skin Tint right here. And I have mine in the deepest shade available out of the 20 shades that they have. It's called a Hint of Espresso, okay? And it's described as deepest with neutral undertones. That's the um, description of uh, the shade, okay? So what it is is that you have the little uh, bottle right here, but it comes with a dropper. Yeah, it comes with that little dropper. Um, and this, this is just the packaging, okay? So I've had this foundation for at minimum, at minimum about two months now. Um, and I've been wanting to try it. I've been wanting to like dig into it, but other things of course took my attention away, okay? The thing about this particular um, foundation, excuse me, skin tint, it is lightweight, breathable formula, hydrates, smooths, and blurs, okay, and it's also, a, it's also vegan, okay, it says shake gently, how do you shake something gently, just, like that. I guess that's a gentle shake, I guess, just gentle shake, okay, Anyway, it says, um, shake gently, uh, start with one to two drops, and then build to your de desirable level of coverage, because this particular skin tint can go from a super sheer to a medium coverage, okay? And this retails for $17, okay? I've already primed my face, of course, with Old Faithful, which is the ColourPop uh, Pretty Fresh Hydrating Primer. I love that primer. Okay, so what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna grab my brush and I'm just going to take it out and drop two drops, I guess, on my face. And I, I guess we'll go from there, okay.
Okay, and here I am having finished putting it on my face. I can honestly say that I am very surprised, very surprised on how rich and deep this is, okay? So I can actually, um, I can actually go down a shade, <laughs> okay, on um, this one. So if you are a, a Cacao and Becca, if you're an NW55 and MAC, you probably don't want to go this deep in shade, just saying, okay? Unless just your undertone, your undertone is just a little different. I have more of a warm undertone than anything, okay? So here it is. I'm going to correct it with some concealer. Let's see how it goes. But as of right now, um, I will say if anything, with this particular shade, when you build it up, of course, it will get darker. Um, so if I had kept it at just a light coverage instead of me building it up because I did use a lot more dots on my face, a lot more drops on my face. So, um, and I will say this, you could tell it is sheer because I can see some golden, my normal undertone, the golden that's in my face, the, the warmth that's in my face. I can see it underneath here some, okay? So if anything, I will say that it is more of a sheer, um, lightweight coverage. Now, I will say the finish is beautiful. It does give you more of a radiant, natural, um, finish, okay? I will say, I will say that, okay? So, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go and see if I can correct this, okay? And I will be right back. Okay, so here's my face right now, okay? I got myself looking back to normal somewhat, okay? So I will say this, even though I've set my face and um, I end up setting my whole entire face with the um, Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, um, I will say this, this formula is very hydrating, okay? I, even with the powder set on top, it's like, Okay, this is a very hydrating formula, and I like that. I do like because I have dry skin, so and the weather has changed. It's cooler outside now, so I'm happy about that. Um, it's not cold, but it's it's not as hot <laughs> as it was. It's just a nice little breeze. It's the perfect fall weather to me, which I absolutely love. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go finish my face. It is a work day, of course, as always. I'm always working. It is. 8.03 in the morning, okay? So it's an early morning, but I'm going to wear this all day, okay? And I'm going to actually finish my face because I'm headed out to go to work, going into the office today, okay? So um, I'm going to go and finish my face and I will be right back. <laughs> Okay, so here it is. I am back with the finished look for the day. I am literally about to run out because I am on my way to work. Okay, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be just, just a little late, okay? But I am on my way to work, and it is now. I showed you earlier it was 8.03, if I'm not mistaken. Right now, it is 8.27, okay? So I will be back in at least a good 8 nine hours and I will show you guys how this held up. It says it lasts up to 16, um, lasts up to 16 hours. So we'll see what it do in a good eight to nine, okay? <laughs> Be right back. Okay, and here I am. I am back, okay? And here is my face right here. <laughs> here is my face. It has been close to 12 hours now it's it's late it is now 7 52 at night guys i've been at work all day i think when i left off camera the 
first time, the very first time, if I'm not mistaken, it was, if I'm not mistaken, it was 803. 803 or 805, I can't remember. 803 or 805, the first time I left off camera, but when I finished my whole entire face, it was like, it wasn't even 830 yet. So it was going towards 830, okay? I will say that, okay? So I've had this makeup on for almost a solid 12 hours, okay? So, and here it is. Now, of course, as you can see, my nose is an oil slick, okay? However, the rest of my face, the rest of my face is not that bad. It is actually not that bad, okay? Now, let me give you some quick stats about this foundation really, really quickly. Again, um, of course, retails for $17, 20 shades. I picked up the darkest shade available, which was a hint of espresso. And of course, as you guys saw earlier, that shade was too dark for me. So I had to do some correcting with the concealer to make it work for me so I wasn't looking out, walking out of here. Looking like I was doing blackface. I'm black. I can't do black face when I'm black. Next, okay? Um, okay, so it uh, wears um, super sheer to medium coverage, okay? Lasts up to 16 hours. It is water, sweat, and transfer resistant. It hydrates your skin for up to 12 hours, seals in the moisture, and nourishes dry skin, okay? One thing I could actually say that I absolutely love about this particular foundation is that it does indeed blur your imperfections on your skin, especially your pores. That's the first thing I noticed when I put on the makeup was like, okay, my pores are pretty much just, pretty much gone. Like they were, it looked really, really good and it did smooth out my skin, okay? It does give a very beautiful, naturally radiant Finish, okay and it does moisturize the skin even after I put the powder on my face and set my whole entire face with the um Laura Mercier uh, uh, translucent uh, powder the original translucent powder I did notice that my skin was still even after being set it was still hydrated it didn't feel like I took all of that beautiful radiance and moisture from my skin it still looked amazing and even felt amazing I will say that okay now as far as the uh, sweat resistant could not tell you if it's sweat resistant now it's fall uh, the weather has changed here in Georgia so as of right now, even today, even though the sun was out, we still had very nice, cool, beautiful fall weather. So the breeze that I had today outside was absolutely amazing. True fall weather, I loved it. So I couldn't tell you right now if it's sweat resistant because I did not sweat today. Thank you. Everybody, sidebar real quick about the water resistance, okay? Or I should say the sweat resistance, okay? As you can see, my face is very, very sweaty. My best friend came on over and she was like, come on girl, let's go walking. Well, we went walking. Yes, I did go walking in this shirt, okay? <laughs> but we went out walking and as you see, I'm sweating profusely and yeah. So here's an update on the sweat resistance, okay? Now, as you see, I am sweating really, really good, okay? So I'm just gonna real quick take these um, handkerchiefs and let's just see how it does, okay? Okay, so just dabbing the sweat off of myself and okay, I'm really, really shocked because I got a really good sweat in and it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad at all. I'm just dabbing, just dabbing it off of my face and my face still looks good. It still looks really 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 good nothing has shifted 
nothing has moved um if anything i could say one thing about it um my pores don't look as blurred as they did before but overall it's not bad it's not terrible so if you find yourself out and about and it's just a sweltering hot hot day um, this is not bad at all. Um, like I said, it took away some of the blurring, the blurred and the smooth effect that I had earlier, but overall, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Back to the original video. <laughs> Thank goodness, okay? However, let's check and see if it is, um, transfer resistant, okay? Let's see. Now, I put on a blush. Um, so I'm going to try not to uh, check in this area or on my forehead area because of the fact that I did put on a bronzer today. I have a mini bronzer review coming up and you guys will probably see that right after this video. Um, but, uh, or if it's up before this video, I'll make sure to link it up in the card so you guys will see that. However, I'm just going to um, blot around my face just to see if anything anything comes off and it did I can tell you that right now I don't know if you guys could see that now nah, you probably can't because this is a white yeah you probably can't see that because it's a white ah uh, there you go napkin right there it was what's coming through ah there you go okay so as you saw, I just did just a little bit around my mouth on my top lip and my chin and it did come through. And mind you, my chin wasn't oily. My top lip wasn't oily. The size of my mouth wasn't oily. The only thing that's oily is my nose and the area right outside of my nose is catching the oil. So I can honestly say that this is not transfer resistant, okay? And mind you, I set it with this powder. This is the original um, translucent powder from Laura Mercier because when I read the claims that it was transfer resistant and all that, I didn't want to put another, um, a, a, a deeper, another setting powder that had pigmentation on it that would, uh, make me not see whether or not it was or wasn't transfer resistant, okay? And really, truly, when they say transfer resistant, I'm not expecting a lot. I'm I really not. I mean, I have on makeup that gives that has pigmentation. So for it not to be transfer resistant, you know, I'm not looking for that. Now, I will say this. I put on this shirt after I put on my makeup. But I will say this. The makeup did not get on my shirt. It did not get on my shirt and I had to pull it over my head and it's not on the inside of my collar. Or anything or anything like that and I've been rolling this neck and everything today just running around oblivious but I can honestly say that I don't see anything and I'm looking down in my mirror I can honestly say that I don't see anything on the collar of this shirt so hmm makes you want to say hmm <laughs> I will say that okay so with that being said, is it truly transfer resistant if you were to put like a white little tissue and just blot maybe? No, because even when I rubbed my hand across my face earlier, um, it did come off on my hand some, but it didn't get off on my shirt like I said, so I don't know, six a hand, half a dozen in the bush? I, I, that transfer resistance still baffles me just a bit okay okay so with this particular skin tint I can honestly say that if you have oily skin you might not like it it might not last an extended period of time that 16 hour wear claim that it has it probably won't last that extended period of time on your skin if you have oily skin now if you're just going out real quick for the day and you know you're only going to be out for a couple of hours or going out for dinner with the girls real quick hey chances are you might just like it because it does give you that beautiful radiant glow i would suggest just set it with a really good powder and even when you set it with a really good powder i would even say even if it's a matte powder probably 
I would say it would not take that that moisture that the product gives you away and I do like that okay now if you have uh, normal to uh, dry skin or even if you have combination skin you just might like it of course as always with me I always say just make sure that you know that your chances are you are going to be um, touching up your makeup throughout the day because um, not once today that I touch up my face I'm just blotting it for the first time right here and after blotting it real quick it does not it does not look bad at all. Um, if you're new here to my channel, we do have a lot of new subscribers. Hello, how y'all doing? <laughs> um, if you're new here to my channel, one thing that I know for sure is that realistically, throughout the day, there's no way, no how that I'm never going to go to a bathroom and maybe just touch up my face just a little bit. Even I'm just going to the restroom um, the restroom to just take a break, wash my hands, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at my face and I'm gonna just touch up my face real quick. So the fact that that was my face, my, the oil on my skin after almost 12 hours is not bad considering, not bad. And my face still feels very moisturized overall with it, okay? Now, is it a full on 16 hour foundation? Could it last that long? I do think it could on dry, just dry, because I have dry combination, on just dry to normal skin tones, I think it could. But if you have oily skin or maybe even combination skin, might not. I wouldn't push it necessarily past the 12 hour point. Me, myself, I don't even like to wear makeup this long. I didn't expect to wear makeup this long today. However, on normal to dry skin tones, I think it would last, but on the combination and the oily spectrum, 12 hours is pushing it, <laughs> okay? So I will say that. But overall, not a bad skin tint at all. I was really, 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 really shocked about this particular product. Every single time I looked in the mirror, I was like, okay, we're still in there, we're still holding in, you know? Um, the only thing that I, of course, didn't um, like and I had to get over it because I had to correct it for this video was the fact that the the skin, um, I said the skin tone, the foundation shade was too, uh, too dark. Now, however, I am glad that they do have a foundation, excuse me, a tinted moisturizer for deeper and darker skin tones. They have it darker, too dark even for me. So chances are what I will be doing is I will be taking this back Hopefully I can take it back because it has been a while. <laughs> but hopefully I'll be able to take this back and get the next shade up from this. Because overall, Morphe? Y'all did it with this Morphe too right here with this um, hint, hint skin tint, okay? This is not bad at all. I actually really and truly like it. I think it's just... It gives me that glow that I love and I like, okay? The only thing is I just have to get the right shade for myself. And I thought that would most definitely do it, but it didn't. But that's okay because anybody that's deeper than me, you might have something for you. You might have something for your skin tone. But anyway, that is it. That is all for this video. I thank you guys so much for watching. Please, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that button, baby. Go ahead and hit it. You know you want to. Go ahead, okay? <laughs> and if you like this type of video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, please, and thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to stay blessed, stay beautiful, and please continue to stay safe. Bye. <laughs>